the national education policy was launched by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji on 29th july 2020 since then a large number of reforms have been introduced in the indian education system equity access quality accountability and affordability are the pillars of the national education policy the indian education system is huge with nearly 300 million students across the board and this includes 43 million students in the higher education system and these numbers will increase rapidly in the coming years as we have set a goal to increase ger to 50% by 2035 ugc coordinates determines and maintains higher education standards in nearly 1170 universities and 45000 colleges across india whether making india the third largest ecosystem for startups in the world or sending aditya l1 on a solar mission making india the first country to land a spacecraft on the southern part of the moon or building the world's most ex- extensive digital public infrastructure or even heading a large number of fortune 500 companies young indians coming out of the indian education system have demonstrated their zeal adaptability and determination to succeed because technology has become part of our everyday lives focusing on stem education is important for achieving sustainable and inclusive growth and social well being realizing the 2030 agenda for sustainable development is possible only when women and girls have enhanced access and participation in stem education i'm glad to inform you that a recent report by the ministry of education has found that the number of female graduates in india rose from 38.4% in 2014-15 to 42.6% in 2021 and 22 india has the largest number of female students in stem education compared to any other region in the world our students are our asset and they are a vast human capital resource internationalization of indian education is one of the important components of nep 2020 indian institutions are establishing their campuses abroad and through the study in india program large number of international students too are coming to india to study here as part of the implementation of nep 2020 as sri sanjay murthy ji has mentioned ugc has announced a regulation to facilitate opening branch campuses of top international universities in india many international institutions have shown keen interest in setting up their campuses in india i am glad that today the university grants commission will be handing over the letter of intent and the approval from ugc to set up its branch campus in india prime minister sri narendra modi has set futuristic goals to shape india's growth drive innovation and position india as a global education hub by promoting higher learning and research while i congratulate the southampton university my dear friends partner with india and prosper with india